Oh my god. Gerard, quick question. Gerard, quick question. This is gross. Gerard, quick question. I'm not ready for this, Alex. Gerard, quick question. What? Does this mean no. that you're done with the completionist? No. <laughs> this means I've never played this game before. Guys, this is Donkey Kong Country 3. Welcome to Super Beard Bros Game Wisp. This is brought to you by the Game Wisp Friends Club, whatever you want to call it. This is a whole new Donkey Kong Country game from the t from the time. Gerard, you were just telling me why you never did this before. I don't like Kitty Kong. It's just plain and simple. Gross. Never touched the game before. I've never touched this game. Well, you'll be I have, happy I have to know. Made, I have made my life's goal to never play this game. I hate- I- I- I'm sorry to be a part of your failure. Is this like a- <laughs> What is this? This is a- Who- It's like Sonic. Single player- Two player Two team. player versus- Look how they did- That's how I feel. Chris, punch into that. <laughs> that's how I feel about this game. So, Rare gave this game to another set of developers, probably because it came out in- What year was it? Wait, so it's, so it's not a rare game? It is, it is a rare game. It just, it was released in 1996. So you gotta imagine by that point their main team is working on N64 stuff, right? Jared. <laughs> uh, but it has better graphics than any other Donkey Kong countries by a lot. And it has new uh, compression techniques for what the, uh, the for the like, you know how they, you know how they <laughs> Hello take- Hello there, it's me, Mrs. Wrinkly Kong. <laughs> I found life too hectic at school with all those naughty Kremlings pestering me all the time. If you need me to save your game, Dixie, call me here anytime. Bam. And I'll record your progress on my new VidMe What's a Machine for you. Shout out to that VidMe brand deal. Okay, hold on. Cheered. Can I just- I just want to point out what I see here. <laughs> okay. First off, collector percentage is in the is three digits. That's <laughs> that's right. Because you got to get to a hundred percent. There's DK coin counter, some kind of silver bear counter. Yeah. Then there's a bonus coin <laughs> counter. Beat. Yeah, the B coin. And then there's a fucking bird counter. And then there's like what is it like a cloud? It has so okay so. So no, tell me, not till we're ready. What do you mean? <laughs> it's good to have a visit from you, Dixie. All you ever see on television these days is repeats. Do you want to know what the, the different things are? Is it a spoiler? No, so the DK coins are in every level, except for boss levels. Uh, the bonus coins are hidden, uh, but others can be defeated by beating, uh, can be earned by beating bosses. You need them to access another area. Look oh, at that bear. Help me. <laughs> I almost was Banjo, but I got stuck in this storm because I was- over these islands. I was too ugly. <laughs> I was in and say hello if you meet them on your travels. I was sent to the island of misfit toys <laughs> because I have a lazy eye. Where's that shell from? The shell was found at the bottom of the lake Orangutanga and it's pretty rare. At five bear coins, it's a bargain. So then there's bonus, so then there's bonus, this, this is basically just banana coins. Which one? The bear coins. The bear coins? They're banana coins. Okay. Um, then there's a secret area that you unlock by getting all of the bonus coins. And then there's a collectible in the secret area. Uh, and then the banana birds are those birds. Oh. Motorboat. <laughs> Yo, Dixie, what's happening? I've set up my smoking new boat shop on this island. I've also brought your t excellent cousin Kitty Kong along for the ride. He's Maybe just a big a toddler, giant baby monkey. If you throw him upwards, you'll almost reach the stars. Oh yeah, and, and if the Kong him, letters. His humongous body can smash through the floor of some areas. Trust me. And there's green bananas that you need to collect to get bonus coins in bonus stages. Bust the move, got a groove. And there's stars in the bonus stages. You're stressing me the fuck out right now, Alex. And there's presents in the bonus levels. And ornaments in the bonus levels. Well, I hope for everyone's sake we can, we're gonna do this. Not so. to mention the brother bear items. I'm sorry, is our goal to complete this game 100%? No comment. <laughs> no comment? <laughs> what do you mean? What does that mean? What is no comment. <laughs> I don't know yet. Okay, so things about Kitty Kong that you should know. 
It's the first playable Kong in Donkey Kong Country not to have the initials DK. Even though it still says DK on his barrels. But in Japan, that's not true. In Japan, his name is Dinky Kong. But they ended up naming him Kitty Kong in the West for some reason. Uh, they also were going to call him Tiny Kong. But then they ended up using Tiny Kong in Donkey Kong 64. Uh, which came out only three years later. Which is pretty crazy to think about, right? Uh, and then Kitty Kong was supposed to be in Donkey Kong Racing uh, for the GameCube, but that that got eaten up by, uh, I believe, their merger with Microsoft. We got some cool mechanics here. The uh, the compression around the uh, like 3D modeling turned into sprites is supposed to be better in this game. Colors are supposed to be a little brighter. How do I? Dun 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 dun. Yeah. What's up? I'm trying to figure out how to get the bonus down below. I think you can throw him straight up in the air and he lands on it. That's what it looked like. But... What if you get out of the way? Oh shit, he's just heavy. Collect 50 stars. Look for... Look for green bananas. I don't know if there are any, but maybe not in this level. So do you want to know the story of this game? I'm assuming that Kitty did that, uh, fucking Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong have been kidnapped by a new villain. Yeah. Uh, Kitty Kong is her cousin. They're traveling the northern hemisphere. Using Funky Kong's vehicles to sail over water. Um, eventually, they reach Castle Chaos to fight the new leader of the Kremlings, Chaos. And then there's more stuff. But what am I talking about? Let's get into this. Let's get into some triv. Is there anywhere that I can see Grab the... Grab 15 bananas. Bananda. Bonanza. So this is... This is called Lakeside Limbo. Uh... This level... Oh my gosh. This is like a, like... NorCal monkey vibe. What? I don't know what's up. Like, they're in the northern hemisphere, but it just looks like they're in, like, the Sierra Mountains. So this is Ellie the Elephant. Another character that looks horrifying. <laughs> um, This level's called Lakeside Limbo. Uh, in Japan, it's called The Bank of the Lake. So that's a thing. Do you want to know where the stuff is? I guess. If you know where it is. I mean, I don't have it memorized. But... The K letter floats in the air after the first sneak. The O is after the first DK barrel. Oh, sorry. Then there's a booty bird that you can beat to get the G. There's a lot going on here. This game has a lot to do. Huh? Nice. Three lives. That was the end? Yeah. So do you want to go back through and grab everything? I did. You got all the Kongs? Yes. I got the... It has exclamation point. Two bonus barrels you got, right? Yeah. Uh, the DK coin you got. Yeah. And the warp barrel. What's a warp barrel? Uh, the warp barrel in this level is located just above two sneaks, located immediately before the first DK barrel. Kitty Kong must throw Dixie upward to find it. The special barrel sends them to the end of the level, next to the end of the level flagpole. I don't think it counts for completion. Does it? I don't- I don't know. I don't think so. I don't really know exactly what that means. Two sneaks. Two sneaks. It's above it? Yeah. So hold on. Immediately before the first DK barrel. 
is where it is, but maybe it's like right here. I don't know. <laughs> He's just so... Maybe like literally right in front of it? Oh, there it is. What's the point of that? What's the point of even having that? I mean, they were in the other game. I guess. It's just weird. Alright. Alright, doorstep dash. Doorstop dash. Let's see. Secrets. We got secrets. Break through the gates. Race between the doors in Spanish. Doorstop race. Door affectations in German. Very poetic. What is this place? This looks like the room where Will Turner and Jack Sparrow fight for the first time. From, uh... Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Sorry, if I'm not talkative, it's because I'm... I'm really... Puzzled? Puzzled. Puzzled is the right word. You're just like... <laughs> I'm so confused. You're just like, basically you're in like a, like a, like a... It's a bizarro world for me yeah, right like now. Yeah, like Mandela effect. Yeah. Because it seems like we're playing like a fan hack. But, oh, you need baby. Yeah, where'd he go? So who worked on it originally? Uh, like this game? Yeah. I'm trying to figure that out, but um, it's hard because it's not in the wiki. Hold on. Donkey Kong Country 3 Personnel. Look at that. Tim Stamper was the director. Uh, Andrew Collard. Paul Weaver were the designers. Mark Stevenson and Neil Crook were the artists. And then Evelyn Fisher is listed before David Weiss as the composer, and it's not alphabetical, so I'm not sure what that means. Well, she, I know she worked on some of them with David. Yeah, so it uses the silicon graphics and ACM rendering from the last game. Uh, but Stamper retook the role as the director while Andrew and Weaver designed the game. It, became, it, it went into development right after Diddy Kong's Quest. Um, they took risks in purchasing more SGI equipment to render the graphics. Like, it was like a risk for them. Um, it says David Wise admitted that the workstation's rare purchase were worth 80,000 pounds apiece. Jeebus. Yeah. A new compression technique they developed allowed them to incorporate more detail and animation for each sprite for a given memory footprint than previously achieved on the SNES. Uh, which makes the graphics look a little better. That's why the elephant, I thought, looked pretty good, right? Even though, like, this look is, like, pretty creepy nowadays, like, you gotta admit, like, the animation is better. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what it is about it so far that's making me weirded out. Fisher, Evelyn Fisher did most of the music in this game. So David didn't really do too much. According to this, He's yeah. He's more of a supervisor. According to this. I just ask him, my friend's on Facebook. I mean, look, so far I'm having fun. It's, it's definitely bad. weird. It's yeah. not what I remember. It's just another Donkey Kong game. I mean, I just, maybe we just beat it the first time through as much as we can, and then we go back and and get the stuff we didn't get. Why would I? Is this if I don't make it? I see. I wonder what the general, like, question of the day. What is the general consensus on this game? Because I feel like a lot of people sleep on this game. Is that accurate? I don't know. There's always people who are like, well, it's actually good. When I talk to them, but like, a lot, most people are like, I never actually played the third one. Because this isn't that weird, like, Yoshi's Island time when it was like, well... Nintendo 64 is coming. Like, you know, yeah, it's get ready. True. I'm just so baffled. I'm so sorry, everyone, if I'm just not there. I mean... Oh! Yo, they just, like, turned the, the freaking wasps into fucking motorcycles in this one. Yeah, those wasps have, like, gears. They're like the Mondo Burger of wasps. <laughs> 
What? <laughs> the Mondo Burger of wasps? That's how I feel. Like they're like genetically modified. Mondo Burgers aren't genetically modified. Dude, yes they are, dude. They put shots right into the meat. <laughs> Kitty Kong just looks... So weird. His little, like, footies with their, like, little... <laughs> like, saggy fabrics. There you go. Still no DK coin in this stage, but... I mean, there's gotta be one somewhere. Dun 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 So are all the- are all the DK coins relocated to the guy has a shield and he's using them? Um, no. Oh, but the thing is called a coin. What? That- that guy. He's called the coin? K-O-I-N, yeah. So maybe a lot of the time he does have a coin. Wrinkly save cave? Oh, oh Ringley's asleep. I'm sure she won't mind if I save my game, though. Check it out. She's playing Nintendo 64. Before it was announced? No, I think it came out this year. Hmm, you're right. You only gotta do 25 times as much work as you've done so far. That's not that bad. I was feeling pretty good till you said it, though. That's you know? good. What do you mean? We're, we're, we're gonna crush this. That's right. There's like H there's like asymmetric yeah. swimming and shit. Uh, Barnacles, Barnacles Island. Island. Hi. Hello there. There's going to be how's I'm it going, Kitty? Barnacles, player. me name, and I've set up home here. Have you seen my shell collection? It's nearly complete. I'm very old, and I collect shells. But they let me wear Wait, my pajamas to work, so it's okay. Did I just leave because I pressed the button, or because that's all it's, he's you got You don't have any say. shells, right? It looks like there's four shells that this you need. This bird is a friendly fellow, isn't he? He flew in once, so I decided to keep him. Okay. Um, why don't we call it here? Next, next time on Beer Bros... I guess we play more of this game. I'm so confused. It's good. I'm, look, it's good, right? Like, I'm not, I don't feel bad. I feel like it's pretty good. So far, so good. Two levels down. I'm just confused. A lot yeah, of confusion. It's weird. I'm hoping that, like, we see jump from zero to 60 soon. In like, in terms of difficulty? No, in terms of just, like, design aesthetic. Because, like, the first of those we just played. Is about all I've ever seen of the game. Yeah, it's like a to German design and level. I've not seen anything else besides this. Uh, I feel like we're up, in so. like a German village or like the Alps or like. I hope Yosemite. I'm excited. Let it. Let us know what you guys think. This is a game with series, so we're doing it for you guys. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Later. Oh shit, it's the goddamn Beer Bros Game Boys, we don't give a fuck, we invented Mario. Oh shit, it's the goddamn Beer Bros Game Boys, we don't give a fuck, pull up on you like later man, I'm greater than those haters man, like peace, peace, later man, I'm greater than those haters man, like peace.